Hello, hello, hello. Sir David the Bard. I'm coming to you out of uh, Washington State. And <laughs> there's a lot of big apples up here. And, um, you know, I tried to get one of the apples off the apple tree just to, you know, taste it. I was going to put it back. It only had one bite in it. And the uh, farmer guy chased me with a big apple chasing beside him. So I said, hey, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm going back to, uh, Kangaroo City and the Gold Coast. Anyway, some funny uh, newspaper articles now coming up in um, Salt Lake area. This gay marriage thing has got the Mormons. <laughs> They're getting atomic wedgies with garments on. And that's, that's a bitch. That's a bitch. Let me tell you, an atomic wedgie with garments... That may take a doctor to remove that. Anyway, the Mormons are always aggressive and fighting for their rights, fighting for everything. You know, if you're not in a cult, uh, you don't fight much for anything. Life is uh, pretty good. But when you're in a cult, you have to um, invent fights and you have to invent hatred uh, to keep people emotional. Now, here's one of the things that I know physiologically. When we're angry, it blocks thinking. It seriously blocks the area of the brain that is rational. So if you can keep Mormons screaming and yelling and fighting and dancing and dancing like a two-year-old over gay marriage, <laughs> they can't give a thought to rationale. They can't give a thought. This occurred to me this morning. He said, well, if you let gay people marry, There'll be no children. <laughs> have you ever heard of a sperm bank? Lesbians can have as many children as they want. There goes that argument. And that's gone. That's gone. You got two females in a family. Two uteruses. Two people that can have children, which makes up for the gays. They can only adopt, as far as I know. Well, the Mormons never yell or beg for mercy unless your foot is all the way up their ass. <laughs> the only time a, mer a Mormon goes, well, uh, well, 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 maybe it could be, uh, maybe, you know, it's the only time that a Mormon talks like that is when you've got two boots up their ass. Now it's hard to stand when you've got two boots up a Mormon's ass, but, uh, you know, it can be done. Well, now I've got an article down below. Tag on it, take a look at it where the state of uh, Mormonism is saying, well, the social medias are beating the crap out of us. Like, oh yeah, they are. Because normal human beings don't peek in a hat at a rock to hear the voice of their God. You're not in Normalville, Mormons. You're way outside. You're way outside the norm of human experience. Well, there's this guy that reads his article. Oh, social media is beating us up. And they're attacking the Mormon church and the members of the church. <laughs> You're damn right we are. You're damn right. Because now you got your panties down. Well, your garments down. You got your garments down. And we're going to grab you by the short hairs and drag you through the streets. Figuratively. I'm certainly not making any kind of threats or anything like that. I'm just saying emotionally and politically, the Mormons got their panties and garments down. And now they're being dragged through the streets and their policies, their doctrines, their history is all being exposed. And now the Mormons are going, oh, oh, don't hurt us anymore. We didn't mean that. Oh no, that's not that's not right. Uh, no, we didn't hate blacks. No, we didn't hate gay. No, no. Now, when Mormons beg, you know, they're they're yelling uncle. They're yelling uncle. I think they know how the world feels about them now. I think some of them have come out of the shell. And all of this protection of the Mormon uh, Utah where they vote their own people in, uh, not always legally, but they vote their own members in and then pass rules favorable to their church. 
Now the feds come in and bitch slap them and go, no. No, you can't do that. And the Mormons now are scared to death. They're scared to death of the feds. They're scared to death of each other. They're scared of the gays. They're scared of the blacks. They're scared of everybody that they've discriminated and hated. It's the Christmas past. It's the Christmas past of all of the hated people by Mormons. They're coming after the Mormons now with a fury because of the rage and the hostility and the sadness and the miserable lives that they've had because of the Mormons. Now, here's what's really interesting. The Mormons wanted to be treated fairly and kindly and educated-wise. Well, go take a look at the Mountain Meadows Massacre. There's rational Mormons. Uh, give us your guns uh, and all of you family. Get your guns together and everything. Bring them over here and put them in the wagon and then stand up. And we're going to shoot your asses and your faces right off. Your women, your children, your men. Over a hundred people were killed by the bishops and state presidents. Some of them were dressed up like Indians to try to blame it on the Indians. Where was the mercy there? Where was the mercy there, Mormons? Where was the mercy, Mormons, when Johnson's army was coming out to confiscate your buildings and all of your property because you wouldn't obey the laws of the land concerning polygamy? And you insisted and insisted you weren't performing any plural marriages. Two months ago, you put out a essay on your blog and your LDS website that says, Ah, we lied, we lied, we were getting gay marriages, and they were coming after us. When the Mormons are in charge, there's no mercy. No mercy. When the Mormons are not in charge, they're begging for mercy. Begging for mercy. This is a cult, folks. It's only black and white in a cult. Begging for mercy or giving no mercy. Nothing in between. Nothing in between. So take a look at this article I've got down below. It's interesting, but take a look at the history of the Mormons with the blacks, with ERA, with the gays, with polygamy, with uh, the splitting of the FLDS church and John Taylor uh, and the regular uh, Mormon church. Why won't they tell you where their money is? Oh, mercy, mercy, we've been stealing it for 180 years, and now you want us to tell you the truth? There won't be anyone left to give us money. You're right, there won't be. The only time mercy, uh, Mormons beg for mercy is when they're up to their ass in alligators. <laughs>